Don't rub your face on scissors. Give me this. All of these things are dangerous. Stop. Cute them up. Oh, please. Hi. <laughs> Can I make my sketchbook in peace? No. What are you doing? Get him a please. Nice, sweetheart. <laughs> Again, you're trying to lay on the pointy thing. Stop. Mama, I'm just a baby. I'm just a little friend. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. And today I'm going to be talking about Inktober and my plans for Inktober. First, I want to mention really quick where I've been. To make the long story short, I'm working on a game. I'm making dev vlogs for it so I can upload them once I start actually announcing the game properly. And that's taken all of my time. So I will be making more videos. I have video ideas to just be posting that have nothing to do with the game itself. I just haven't done them. I need to really write a list down so that I can like get through them. But in the meantime, let's talk about Inktober. Cause I'm doing Inktober this year again. I think it's my ninth year and I'm very excited about Inktober. I love Inktober. So, Inktober. First thing I'm going to talk about is I'm making a handmade sketchbook again. I think the last time I did Inktober the handmade sketchbook was two years ago, but I'm very excited because I have another one and I love how it looks. My only complaint is I might have sewn it a little too tight because the pages seem a little too not lay flat enough, but it'll probably wear and break in as I go. Um, the paper I'm using is, I believe, 65 pound cardstock. I bought it from Walmart. It's not like fancy paper, but cardstock's great for things like markers, so I bought a ream of it a while ago. The cover is made out of some really thin cardboard that I got when I used to work in a warehouse. I have a whole pile of it. I brought it home. It's been doing me good. I made a whole sketchbook out of that paper at one point. That was Inktober of 2021, I want to say, and I did dip pens. So this sketchbook is 32 pages. First of all, you have to do that because you need to use one page, a folded in half, which makes four pages if you're using both sides, but one page if you're only using one side. And I wanted an extra page anyway because I do swatches in my sketchbook to like see what I want to use. And I'm just really happy with the sketchbook. I love how it looks. I really aim for like a fall autumnal, really pretty, warm color palette for like the look of it like i use brown string instead of my normal colorful string for the book binding the thread i used to put the pages together ahead of time was orange and yellow i made sure all of the stuff on like all the washi tape had like mushrooms and moths and butterflies and flowers and leaves and all that fun stuff for fall and i put some mushroom stickers that i have on there as well which I got all the stickers off Timu, but I don't use Timu anymore. But that's where the stickers came from, if you're curious. When it comes to supplies I'm going to be using, I'm going to be trying to use Posca pens. I want to use my Sharpies. I've had them for years and I hardly ever touch them anymore. I want to use my Sharpies. I'm going to be using marker in general. I want to use my Crayolas. It's going to be a very colorful, but also very ink-based. Inktober, which makes sense because it's Inktober, but I'm treating it more like a Drawtober, and I'm not following their official list. I am following Cotbulk's list for Cattober. Now, she's going to be drawing cats every day. I will not be drawing cats every day, but I will be following the list, and I'm very excited about this list. It has all of the fun fantasy things that I like. Catbox prompt list, handmade sketchbook, mostly ink supplies, but I do want to use some colored pencils. Because I, I really love the look of marker and then colored pencil on top. It just looks really nice. I also love watercolor and, mar and, and a pencil on top. So pretty. Chef's kiss. Mwah, love it. Now when it comes to things I'll be drawing. Day to day. Whatever the prompt 
whatever comes into my head with the prompt, that's what I'm going to draw. I'm not focusing on drawing cats or fantasy creatures or OCs or developing anything. Just whatever I want. And, um, yeah. Not much else to say about Inktober besides this is, I believe, my ninth year doing Inktober. And I look forward to it every year, and I hope you all, if you want a month-long drawing challenge, you will give it a shot. You don't have to follow the official prompt lists. You can literally look up Inktober on Instagram, or Inktober 2024 might be better, and you just scroll, and you'll see lots of other types of prompt lists. I've seen Foxtober, I've seen Cattober, I've seen Birdtober. I've seen OC-tober, which that's hard to define a prompt list for because it literally just spells October, which is kind of the pun of it, but there's OC-tober, Draw-tober, if you like violence, there's Gore-tober, which I'm not a fan of personally, but I mean, go for it. There's Witch-tober, there's so many things people make for prompt lists, so you don't have to follow the official one. Um, but yeah. There's also Nonsense Tober. I followed that prompt once last year, and that was fun. I was gonna follow it this year, but there's too many prompts that I would not ever have ideas for. So I didn't do it this year. But Nonsense Tober is fun. And with that, that's about all I have to say. I don't have much to say this year. I've done so many Inktober videos, you've gotten the gist at this point. I love Inktober. I'm doing Inktober. It's gonna be great. I do not plan on recording a whole lot of videos for Inktober. I kind of just want to focus on Inktober so that I can also work on developing my game as well. I'll probably use Inktober as like a nighttime activity and develop my game during the day or something and just not worry about making any more devlogs. So I don't plan on making many videos in October for like that, but you will definitely get a sketchbook tour. And I'm thinking I might I might do a few videos or maybe I'll do a couple live streams or something, but I don't plan on it. But yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. If you're doing Inktober, let me know and tell me what prompt list you're following. And if you're not and just gonna have a jolly old fall in October, you do that too. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff you're sick of hearing YouTubers say. We are so sorry we're sick of saying it. <laughs> and I will see you later. Bye!